Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and it is a privilege today to get to be visited on the summit by Coach Ben Bolt, who's in his fourth season at Concordia, and Coach, the volleyball program doing well under your leadership, and it's going to be playing in the postseason now. The Bulldogs are in. In the NAIA National Tournament, an automatic qualifier is the runners-up in the conference tournament uh, just this past week. As uh, You've had quite a run, but first off, let's just stop right there. You you not only get in, but you get to host, and you're hosting Ave Maria. So talk about making it into the national tournament. Yeah, uh, I, I appreciate you having me on, first of all. Um, uh, secondly... Yeah, it, so the automatic qualify that that was uh, it's it's been a, a fun two weeks for us here, um, you know, building up from what we've been uh, at the beginning of the year. You know, <laughs> the wheels could have fallen off a million times for us, you know. But uh, the the G Pack is is a is a great conference and it, it prepares you for the national tournament for sure. So, um, you know, we had a lot of trials and I think that we we've come out a, a pretty tough team here. So yeah, that that run through the conference tournament and, and being able to automatic qualify was um you know i just i our our team is playing well right now so uh i think that they're they're confident that they're looking at each other and they're uh you know that they, they have um uh they're, they're they're a gritty team so we're we're pretty uh we're pretty excited i mean we're, you know cautiously excited you know how how, how it is you know all the teams are going to be good that they that we play down the stretch here so um just uh we need to play well well, take us through this past week because I know it's been a, a big one, and you all were the number six seed coming into the GPAC Conference postseason tournament. You take on the number three seed in Midland, get a sweep there. Uh, you then go into the number two seed, College of St. Mary, five set win there, but also another victory, which puts you in the championship match. You take on not only the top seed in the conference, but the number one team in the country, an undefeated Jamestown. Come up a little bit short there, but Coach won five of your last six games, but this this week though in particular, I, I'm sure that had to be a big one for you. For sure, you know, uh, just to have us play well, you know, I think is is the the ultimate goal. You know, it's uh, the winning and losing kind of takes care of itself. I think uh, when when you're focused on the process and uh, you know just just uh, playing well, you know, through through. Uh, <laughs> we had a stretch there kind of in the middle of the, of the GPAC regular season where we, we had four losses, all 15, 13, one of them was 12, 15 in the fifth, but you know, uh, we really took a, a look at our, our program and, and, and just our rotations and stuff. So, so we made some tweaks and, um, uh, you know, really fit, not fixed, but we, we addressed some areas where I think that we could have been better. And, uh, so we we kind of switched to a, a two setter system in in a couple of rotations, and that really has uh, helped some hitters uh, out in those rotations. And I think that we've just been stronger through that. But yeah, going through um, uh, coming through as a six seed uh, and and taking out those other two seeds, I, I just think it's a kind of more of a culmination of um, just playing well at the right time and 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 being confident and it's it's awesome to see that uh, be rewarded in in wins for our team coach have you stayed with that two setter system then from that point or are you going back and forth or what's it look like then for you all right now heading into the national tournament yeah it's a bit modified so uh tara callahan she's she's uh, kind of, uh our primary setter and uh, she actually sets for us in four rotations um so she sets all the way across the back row and then uh once in the front row so uh, it, it just, just looking at our rotations, that's what we felt comfortable with. Um, and then our other setter, uh, that comes in is Brie Burtwistle. She's, uh, she's, she transferred from Midland after her freshman year. Um, and you know, she's, she's had to sit out a year, but she's been in our program for about a year and a half now. She's, she's smooth. So, uh, there's, there's really no setting, uh, difference that that takes place when we switch those two out it just adds another hitter so it really opens up the the other two in those ro two rotations where where Bert's in so yeah that's that's the system that we're running right now we're speaking now with coach Ben Bolt from Concordia here on Midwest Sports Net and I encourage you please do subscribe to the channel we talk a lot of small college sports throughout the Midwest and beyond and coach you know you talked about Tara Callahan she made 
All conference mention, all G Pack as a second teamer, Cameron Opfer, along with Gabby Nordiker, first team all G Pack. So you, you have a number of quality players. I know more have been mentioned, but that has to be nice to be recognized then as well on the conference level in such a, a strong conference for those players. For sure. And uh, those players have earned it. You know, uh, it's it's nothing is given in this league at all. Um, you know, Cam is a is a player who, who who's out there for six rotations for us. She does it all. She uh, she serves. She passes. She hits. She digs, um, you know, and she's a leader for us in, in pretty much all of those categories. So uh, she's and she just she's she's a cool person you know uh she she doesn't get too high she doesn't get too low and she's she's really um embraced a, a more of a leadership role you know Can't, she doesn't say a lot but when she does it, it's it's really purposeful you know every time she says something i think i learned something so uh it's it's been uh, it's been really awesome to see her kind of evolve here and then uh gabby undersized kid I, I i love undersized kids that that just play hard you know uh, they uh, she's she's got a great arm uh she can uh she can turn it she can she's a good blocker she we always say it's it's not how big you are it's how big you play and uh you know she really embraces that so it's it's good to see those two um make the first team uh all conference and then tara who's been a rock for us uh, ever since we've been here. You know, this is our fourth year in the program and Tara's been here for all four of those years. And I think a lot of people associate Concordia volleyball with, with, uh, with her face. Um, but she's been a rock for us and she, you know, she's a super senior and she, she just, she said that she's not done playing volleyball so that <laughs> she, she just loves it. So it's been awesome. Well, we know that she gets at least one more match. That is definite, and it's going to be on your home court. You know, playing through the, the GPAC, you had a couple of five-match winning streaks over the course of the year. You know, you talked about the four losses that were coming up oh so short. You had a five-match winning streak midseason, and then coming into the championship match in the GPAC tournament, it's tough to string together long winning streaks in this conference. And, and let me just point this out really quickly. Seven teams from the GPAC that made it into the NAI tournament of the 48 team field. And you're looking at, of course, you all college of St. Mary, Dakota, Wesleyan, Dort, Jamestown, Midland, and Northwestern as well. What's it like to play that kind of, of schedule just literally night in and night out? It's great. It's great. Um, uh, Angie and I, uh, my assistant coach and, uh, you know, we're a husband wife duo, uh, we used to coach at, at Iowa in the Big Ten, as did uh, uh, Chad Hansen. He used to coach at Iowa at Dort. Um, but we, we always say that the 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 G Pack is the is the Big Ten of the NAIA. Um, you know, it's 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 night in, night out. You got to bring your best, and anything can happen on any given night. Um, you know, we so <laughs> we we kind of have this analogy for our players that you know two teams meet up in the G Pack if they both play their best, it's going to be a battle back and forth. If one team dips at all, the other is just going to pounce. And it doesn't matter which team, you know, you, yeah. you can't dip or else uh, somebody's going to pounce on you. So um, really, it's it's a case of uh, iron sharpens iron, you know, and the the teams continue to, to, to get better. Uh, I think Dakota Wesley, and this is their first year in a long time that they've qualified for the national tournament. And, you know, um, it's, it's a function of just playing the best uh in the country night in and night out so it's it's really fun uh we try not to focus too much on winning and losing actually um and i i think that when you when you put your focus on the process it it, it kind of allows you to go through those roller coasters whether you win or lose and and just focus on playing your best and and just continuing to get better so uh, when you do that it prepares you for national competition and so that's where we're at now and coach, I know you and, and some of the other coaches there in in the conference do try to schedule strong outside of conference, but it, it has to be something in your back pocket. At least you know whenever you get in league play, strength of schedule is going to go <laughs> going to go up definitely when you when you get that going. Well, you're going to be taking on Ave Maria, and that's coming up on Saturday. You get to host as well, which I'm I'm sure is nice, and you'll have folks getting to come out and and watch an NAI playoff game. Tell us what you know about this matchup and and what it looks like. Yeah, no, Avi and Maria, they've they have they've had a great season. Um, they this is their first time qualifying, uh, and 
So they're they're uh they're new they're new to the national tournament, um, but they've they've gone through a gauntlet of a season themselves. Um, they run a five one system with with their setter. Uh, their outsides are they're 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 different outsides. There's one that's kind of a, a small baller, and then and then one that's a uh, a big uh, go and kill the ball type of person, terminator type person. So uh, uh, we'll have to uh, make sure that that we prepare for all phases of the game. One of their um, middles is, the, is their leading uh, kill getter. So, you know, it's it, we're going to have to uh, just uh, be prepared for a balanced attack. Uh, so, it, like I said, it, the GPAC prepares you for that, but you have to play well to win. So uh, we're going to be uh, – we've had two good days of practice here on Monday and Tuesday. Uh Today we have off on Wednesday, and then uh, we'll we'll have a, uh, two more days Thursday and Friday to prep, and then we play on Saturday. So um, it's it, it, it'll be a good match. I can I can tell you that. We um, but any any time that you're at this point in the season, um, you got to play well to win, and that's what I love about how our tournament is set up. It, it's uh, it's the opening round is a play in to get to to Sioux City and. Um, I think that's how it should be, you know, so uh, go play um, and, you know, winner take all. That sounds great. Coach, we're, we're going to be following along on Saturday and we look forward to seeing how long your season continues. Success to you all, to the Bulldogs and your entire team. Uh, a great year. And by the way, uh, as you come into this particular match, fourth season at Concordia, now 74 and 36 overall. So your next win is going to be win number 75. I don't know what, well, what you look at as milestones there, but uh, that, that one could be a nice one for you. Coach Ben Bolt from Concordia, thank you so much for being with us here today on the summit for taking time today. And again, success to your team. No problem. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it.